Just marked out, I've finished marking out frame A and frame B. There are a couple of things left that I still need to do in marking out, however, and that is on the legs, I need to mark out where we're going to drill our hole. So it's much easier to do this with it in pieces rather than once you're in a frame. The length of our leg is 400 mil. We want our hole to be in the center. So from the bottom, make all our measurements from the bottom. We're going to measure up 200 mil. Put a mark there. And do the same to your other legs. Frame A legs. Now, the width of our timber is 42. So if we measure in half of that, which should be 21, just double check with your material. It may be slightly different. So if your material uh, is 40 mil, you have to adjust your measurement. So just make sure yours is in the center. Okay. So I've done that. Do the same for your other frame. And then also what we have to do, so that's the center. What we need to do is we have to mark a radius for these sharp corners on the bottom of our leg. What I have here is just an M20 washer. We're going to place the washer over the corner, just the radius sitting on the edges, like so, and just trace around that radius. And do that for both corners. And that should look like that. Do the same on the opposite side. And repeat that process for every leg. To finish marking everything out, it's really important to do a few checks before we start cutting into things. So for example, you have the legs, make sure, so on frame A, I have here that at the top, okay, the bridle joints match up, okay? We're gonna check down at the bottom. Just check that the lines match up on the heights of your mortise and do the same for frame B. And then also for the top, just make sure that the insides of the tenons match up with the bridle joints on the top of your rail. Really important when you, when you put your frame together if you want this thing to be square, all this measurement needs to be right now. It's very easy to fix now by just rubbing it out and adjusting a line. But if you cut your bridle, your tenon and put it in the wrong spot, when you assemble your frames, it gets very difficult to fix up any errors that you may have made. So get any errors fixed up before we start doing that. Once you're all good, then we can start cutting out.